I'm Sarah Glakis from Investing Answers, and today we're going to answer the question, what is the debt ratio? The formula for the debt ratio is actually pretty simple. It's simply total debt divided by total assets. The numbers we need to calculate the debt ratio are found on the balance sheet. The balance sheet is divided into three sections, assets, debts, and owner's equity. We find total assets here. And total debts here. Now let's look at a quick example. Assume that company XYZ has $15 million worth of total assets and $10 million worth of total debts. By using the debt ratio formula, we can see that its debt ratio is 10 million divided by 15 million equals 0 0.67. Now that we have our debt ratio number, we need to put it into context. The first point to understand is that as the debt ratio gets closer and closer to 1, more of a company's assets are being financed with debt. And generally speaking, as companies increase debt, they become more vulnerable to bankruptcy. The second point to understand is that high and low debt ratios vary by industry. In some industries, a 0.5 debt ratio is low, while in other industries, a 0.5 debt ratio is high. Let me explain. Consider a rental car company. Rental car companies own a lot of physical assets, the fleet of cars and trucks. Like you and I, rental car companies probably want to finance their fleet with debt, using the vehicles as collateral. Therefore, car rental companies can be expected to have a relatively high debt ratio. Avis's debt ratio is 0.51. Compare that to a technology company like Google. Google does not need a lot of physical assets. They might own some office buildings and desks and computers, but they don't need factories or trucks or pipelines to sell their product. Tech companies tend to have low debt ratios. Google's debt ratio is 0.20. The point is, when you're analyzing debt ratios, you want to compare apples to apples. It doesn't make sense to compare Avis to Google because they're two very different businesses. So if we go back to company XYZ in our example, we might compare its 0.67 debt ratio to competitor ABC's debt ratio of 0.75. Competitor ABC's higher debt ratio tells us that ABC uses more debt, and more important, ABC might have a harder time paying down all that debt if the economy turns south. And that's information you can use to decide which company you'd rather invest in. I'm Sarah Glakis for Investing Answers. For more investing definitions, check out our Financial Dictionary.